All right, Joel, what up, Brandon? And you know what, I've got another one of my favorite Bible stories from when I was a kid today. It's a story about this tax collector. And tax collectors, like, back then were just, like, dirty, rotten scoundrels. I mean, nobody liked them. I mean, they were, like, traitors because they worked for the evil empire, the Roman Empire. And not only did they work for the evil empire, but they came and took your money. And most of them, I'm sure not all of them, but most of them wouldn't even just take the money that you actually owed to the evil empire, but they would take extra and then keep it for themselves, put it in their pockets, which is super wrong and super bad. So nobody liked them. Well, one day Jesus was coming to town and there was this tax collector named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, what a weird name, Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus wanted to go see Jesus, but this huge crowd had formed, and because everyone didn't like Zacchaeus, he was trying to like weave through the crowd, but nobody would let him. They're kind of like boxing him out, elbowing him. No, you can't get through. And Zacchaeus had another problem. He was really short. And this is why as a kid, it was one of my favorite stories, because I also am very short. So Zacchaeus, he couldn't see Jesus. So what did he do? Naturally, he climbed up in a tree. Zacchaeus climbs up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. He's looking for Jesus, and Jesus walks by, looks up at him, sees this guy in a tree, and Jesus is Jesus, so he knows everything. So he's like, hey, Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming over for lunch. Like, what? Like, Jesus just, like, invites himself over for lunch. But Zacchaeus is actually excited about it because this is, like, a big deal to have this guy over at your house. So Zacchaeus is cool with it. Zacchaeus, so they go over, and they start talking, and Zacchaeus really didn't want to just see Jesus, but Zacchaeus really needed some good news in his life. He knew everyone didn't like him because he was a bad dude. He was a dirty, rotten scoundrel. And his life, he had all this money, he had all this stuff, but his life didn't feel good. He needed something good in his life, some good news. And thankfully, Jesus came who is the good news. Jesus tells him, Zacchaeus, it's time to follow me. Put all that stuff away. Come and follow me. Start living right. Be a follower of me, a follower of Jesus. And so Zacchaeus says, bam, I'm in. Because a follower of Jesus, and this is the cool part. Like, well, that's the cool part. That's the most amazing thing ever. But then Zacchaeus says, you know what? Actually, all the money I stole from people, I'm going to give back. And not just give back, but give back four times what I took from them. That's crazy. Zacchaeus becomes a follower of Jesus, does the right thing. And one of the really cool things we can learn about Jesus from this story, and there's so many, right? Like Jesus likes short people, bang, good for me. Um, but also Jesus is savior. He is the savior. If any of us want to be saved from the life that we have to something better, we wanna be saved from our sins. We wanna be saved from our past mistakes. We wanna be saved from thinking errors about who we are. Jesus is the savior. He's the one that can save us. He can free us and give us something better to live for. Just like he did for Zacchaeus, he can do it for you as well. Even if you're not short, even if you're tall. Jesus loves us all, short, tall, all of us, which I love. All right, guys, go to your small groups, talk about it more. Peace.